Many Republicans in Washington and in states did not support Trump at the beginning of his campaign. Dan Schultz fits that description. The Republican is the treasurer of the state of Nevada. I asked him what he's thinking nearly 100 days into Trump's presidency. I, I probably, like many other Republicans, uh, was a little uncertain about uh, President Trump, but I think he, uh, you know, right now is, is, is getting his sea legs, but I, I don't really have a problem. I mean, he uh, um, has, has done what he said he was going to do. He's changed the culture in Washington. Uh, and I think if you look at the alternative, uh, Hillary Clinton or Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders or Nancy Pelosi, uh, I think you've got to be grateful that uh, President Trump is where he is. But do you really think he's changed the culture? I mean, the culture doesn't really change here. I mean, it's, it's kind of like an aircraft carrier. It's very difficult to move. <laughs> uh, I think that that's, that's what's happening. I mean, I would agree with you. But, um, you know, I saw the uh, president came out with his, uh, his uh, new uh, uh, tax bill. He's trying to get the health care bill moving. Um, you know, he certainly, uh, he's, he's run afoul of some of the judges' uh, on his immigration bill and his sanctuary city bill. But uh, again, if you take a step back, uh, none of this would have even happened had uh, uh, Mrs. Clinton won. I'll give you that. Let's talk about your background, because you grew up outside Chicago. You've been a CEO, an entrepreneur, an author. You just mentioned a listed member of the U.S. Army. Based on your experiences, uh, which, which are varied, what is Trump's draw? Uh, you know, Mitt Romney made the same mistake with his 47 percent comment. Uh, um, Hillary Clinton made the mistake, the basket of deplorables. Uh, American working people don't like to be insulted, and they don't like to be looked down upon. And it, it's quite curious that, that certainly President Trump is, is in the socioeconomic sphere way, way above everybody else, but um, he clearly did not look down on the American working person. And, and I think uh, Mrs. Clinton did, Mitt Romney did, and uh, they both lost. So I, I think that's, that's very much part of the draw. I think he even, he even said something to the effect, I love the undereducated, or whatever it was he said. Uh, there's a poll yeah. this week showing if the election were held today, Trump would still win. Internationally, some may find that surprising, given so many foreign policy problems, some domestic fights here. But would you say that's surprising to you? My sense is no. I, I agree with you. I. Uh, as I say, I'm, I'm looking at my political future, and we're trying to look at what, uh, what the landscape's going to look like in 2018. Uh, I think, you know, I, a lot of the uh, naysayers think there's going to be a recession. I don't think there is. I think we'll continue with slow, with slow steady growth. And I think, you know, the president uh, should look at 20—I I, I hope he stays in reasonable health, but uh, he should look at uh, 2020 as— uh, uh, the beginning of his second term. I, I don't see I don't see that shifting. And and I think, again, I'm a Republican, obviously, but, but I like to think I'm open to good ideas. And the Democrats just seem really st stuck on the struggle bus. They, they really have a different message than the Republicans, and, and I think they'll pay for it. Dan, uh, as you well know, tourism, very vitally important to your state. Of course, Las Vegas, internationally mm -hmm. known. Is some of Trump's anti-immigration uh, rhetoric or his anti-Muslim rhetoric or, or from the campaign, does that, does that carry over? Is that a concern of yours? Um, are you fearful at all that some international uh, visitors might not come to Las Vegas as a result? Mike, I, again, I, I'm, I'm a solid Republican. I'm a conservative. I've written a book on constitutional values. Um, I, I didn't necessarily buy into the wall or the immigration talk. And uh, I think if you look at Trump's uh, record in New York, um, I know he said a lot of things. Uh, so I, again, I try and look through the rhetoric to see what the reality is. And, uh, you know, again, you, you'll, you uh, can see for yourself that, you know, the, the wall isn't going to happen. Um, the anti-immigration isn't going to happen. Um, and, uh, and I'm just really hoping that, that his, his plans and, and his policies really focus on the economic and, and political aspects of, of the equation. Dan Schwartz, we'll let you get back to the business of Nevada, the Nevada State Treasurer. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> Good. Thanks, Mike. Thanks for having me.